Hello, this is Pat Harrell from the Chromix Tech Support Department with another installment of our Tips and Tricks for Comethink. Tips and Tricks in 5 Minutes or Less. This one I call Viewing a Rendered Gambit. First, we need to start off with a little reminder about profiles. Every printer profile functions in two directions. It will transform color from the device color space to lab space, the connection space. This is the proofing direction. Or it will go the opposite direction from the connection space to the device space. So this is the printing direction. When you print, you are using the rendering direction of the profile. There are a few other apps out there that show a 3D gamut of a profile. Most of them are showing you what you get when you use the rendering direction of the profile. And when you drop a profile into the ColorThink grapher, you see a gamut created with the proofing direction of the profile. This way you get to see what the maximum capability of your device is. I'm not going to go into all that now, but you can check out what Steve Upton wrote about this in a color management myth number 26 that covers this in more detail. This tip is to show you how to get the best of both worlds. ColorThink Pro can show you the results of how your profile renders a print and also the proofing gamut of a profile at the same time. And this will give you a lot of good information about the quality of a profile. We're going to start with an equal grid of points, basically a fundamentally smooth source of colors. And when these source points get run through a profile and graphed, you can see how the profiling engine handles them, if it's warped or smoothly rendered, if there are segments missing, that sort of thing. This color list we made up contains over 4,000 colors. These are an even sampling of all the colors that the human eye can see, and we're converting them to a working space. You can use Adobe RGB, for example, but in this case we're going to use Profoto RGB. So drag or add the working space to the color list. The dialog comes up asking you whether to intending to assign the profile, so you choose Assign. Graph this list and we'll end up with a skin around the outer surface of Profoto. Now this started out as a completely even grid. Working space profiles are by nature going to treat your color very uniformly, so this grid should be pretty uniform too. Now we're going to add a printer profile A to the workflow and then graph that resulting color list. We're sending those colors through the printer profile and seeing the result of what profile A does to those colors. This is a skin of color points which should be at the outer limit of your gamut. They started out as an evenly spaced grid, so it's interesting to see what they become. This one is surprisingly lacking in smoothness. Remember that even grid we saw before? Now we can bring the same profile directly into the grapher to get the proofing gamut. Now they, they should line up pretty closely. I see some of the rendered blue colors don't quite make it out to the boundary of what the printer is capable of. Other portions bunch up together. If you're looking for smoothness, this profile does not have it. So this tells you a lot about the quality of your profiling engine. Let's bring in profile B, made from the same measurements, but with different profiling software. It will replace profile A in the worksheet, and it instantly updates the grid in the grapher. Now this is what I'm talking about. This has much more of the smoothness you would expect or want from a profiling engine. You see a lot more of the original grid is maintained here. I'll add the gamut from profile A. The rendered colors from profile B are actually outside the proofing gamut of profile A. This is producing more saturated colors in the rel call rendering intent. Some colors are still not quite up to the gamut boundary. Okay, let's try profile C. Did you see all those points bounce out farther? This is yet another different profile generator. For the most part, it is even smoother than profile B. The blues are not bouncing up down here. Even this girdle area has a smooth, even line. See how many of the colors are right out at the edge of the gamut? There's still a little something going on here. But all in all, a good profile for art reproduction, where you want all the accurate saturation your printer can reproduce. So supposing you have an orange that is really critical and you want to see if your profiling software is giving you the most your printer is capable of. Zoom into the region you want to look at. 
Profile A does not get the maximum gamut that it can. Profile B still leaves a little to be desired. And Profile C is just jumping out of its skin, it's so good. This is a way of identifying smoothness and saturation in a profile that has never been done before. You know, you can be a hero and diagnose the differences between profiling packages before you buy them. It's a much more obvious way to determine a profile's quality than just printing test images and comparing them. Please feel free to contact Chromix with your ideas for what you do with ColorThink so we can expand our tips and tricks. And maybe your idea will be on the next Tips and, and Tricks, tricks with, with ColorThink. Color